Welcome back, my dear friends, to another episode of A Journey Through Apostolic Succession, a web series that reflects the papal legacy in the Holy Catholic Church. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. What you have heard from me through many witnesses and trust to faithful people who will be able to teach others as well. This verse shows God's intention is to transfer authority to successors. Here, Paul to Timothy to third to fourth generation. It goes beyond the death of the apostles. Today, it's about our 183rd Pope in apostolic succession. That is Pope Clement IV. He was the last man to hold the position for several years due to infighting among the cardinals. The papacy of Pope Clement IV began on February 5th, 1265. His papacy ended when Clement IV passed away. Gregory X succeeded him as Pope more than three years later. Next, let's hear about a few facts. He was born in the Kingdom of France and was known as Guy Fauchus. He was a famous lawyer and a layman. He was the father of two children before entering the church upon the death of his wife. After his wife's death, he became a priest and rose rapidly to become Bishop of Le Puy, Archbishop of Narbonne, and Cardinal Bishop of Sabina. In 1265, even though he tried to refuse, he was elected Pope and took the name Clement IV. Papacy. During his papacy, Clement IV became a patron of literature while overseeing some of the feuds around Rome. Though he remained close to Charles, he disagreed with some of the steps that the man took, namely the cruel acts that he committed filled the Pope with indignation. The following year, he made Charles of Anjou, brother of King Louis IX, King of Naples and Sicily. Charles's victories over Manfred and Conradin ended the Gohenstaufen line, which had once plagued so many popes. Clement lived in Perugia and Viterbo because the Romans were hostile to the papacy. Pope Clement centralized papal authority by decreeing that the jurisdiction over all appointments to Western benefices belonged to Rome. Pope Clement aided the Spanish in their battles with the Moors and corresponded with Michael VIII Paleologus about reuniting the Western and Eastern churches. Pope Clement died in Viterbo on November 29, 1268 and was buried at the Dominican convent Santa Maria in Gradi outside Viterbo. The period following his death is known as the Interregnum. This period lasted for three years and left the church without a pope as the cardinals could not reach a majority decision. Thank you all for listening and as always, please stay tuned for our next episode. Please like, share and spread the word to everyone around you for Christ and for the church. God bless you all. <laughs>